what here is the Microchip Studio has provided ASF, which is stands for Advanced Software Framework. I actually have multiple for now. ASF 3 and ASF 4, the latest one you call as ASF 4. You see the Microchip Studio, they have different methods as well. If you don't use ASF, they have a method which is called Admail Start. All of this actually is uh, quite old. Now we didn't use the microchip studio, they have another one which we call is MP Lab Harmony. That is a new one for now. The benefit of ASF3 as compared to the ASF4. So ASF4 basically just a newer version of ASF. See the easier graphical configuration of the system through Admail Start. This is what I'm talking about. Basically in ASF4, they have the Admail Start into the system as, as compared to ASF3 which is is all more to the middleware programming as well. What I am doing here is I have an uh, SMD21 board. If you see this board is quite in famous documentation, there's a lot for this. And you can get it very easily for the ASF documentation for SMD21J188A. This is the most common board. What I have to do is now I want to show what ASF functionality available in the SMD 21J188 provided is inside the microchip studio. Okay, I already get the board connected with the wide USB which is available at my stock. So what goes on here is the interface straight away. We got the SMD 21 Explain Pro Evaluation Kit. We can start a new ASF example project here. Okay, bring up this page which is the all of the component device family you can access from here. So we using at SMD 21J188. So super super simple and everything you have to start from scratch. Function, simple function with while loop inside. And then what you say here is you can see this is the include the SM header file. Okay. And then we can access to ASF visit should be. Right, I think the ASF wizard will access through all the ASF function or libraries to be implement to our project, which project that we want. Okay, there are pros and cons for ASF actually. For me, in my experience, I draft this ASF almost uh, not so long, maybe around five to six months. So, in my experience with ASF, they have been not all documentation is available for it okay the asf wizard and all those libraries is included in here okay and this you can implement in to your project as well okay the pros and cons for asf let me think asf for me is uh in terms of documentation they have support some of the bots documentation as well and uh, there are some is you have to figure it out how to solve it so my mean is if you want to draw into the asf you have to read a lot of uh, data sheet and a lot of basically just will do a lot of finding in order to get the information for your project if in case of uh, asf using asf so for me this is for asf is quite using a lot of time I don't know, maybe some of you can recommend about what you think about this ASF in Microchip Studio. Tell me what you think about it and uh, let me know in the comment below. And uh, those who have experience in ASF, please do comment below. I want to know what's your experience about it. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. In this case, I will be making a playlist for Microchip basically. In most of the time, I will be spending most of my time on the ASF, implementing ASF codes into my, my bots, maybe different types of bots, may know in the future as well. So thanks for watching, see you in the next video, bye.